Another set of definitions we need to look at real close are complementary and supplementary angles. Now, most of you know what these are. We're going to review this, but put this down. Get these straight, okay? Complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles, two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees, okay? Two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees. What does that mean? The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 90 degrees, okay? Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, two angles with measures that have a sum of 180 degrees. What does that mean? Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180. Now, I have difficulty telling these apart, and even to this day, this is what I do. C and S. C comes before S in the alphabet. 90 and 180. 90 is less than 180. Oh, C, S, 90, 180. Put them in order, alphabetic order, put them in numerical order. C goes with 90, S goes with 180. That's how I remember. If that doesn't work for you, you know what to do. Flush it. Okay? But that, get these down. Do not get these mixed up. Okay? going to happen is, as you go along, certain rules are going to, going to, commonalities are going to emerge in geometry. Number one, things are, angles are going to be complementary. They're going to add to 90. Number two, they're going to add to 180 or be supplementary. Number three, they're going to be congruent. So get these two down, because if you miss these up, all your algebra goes out the window. Get these down. Now, here's some example. Complementary angles. We have angle ABC is 27 degrees. Angle CBD is 63 degrees. Well, let's put some degree marks there. Don't know why I left those off. Okay. Degree marks, degree marks. Now then, the measure of angle ABC and the measure of angle CBD equals 90 degrees. Now, these two angles happen to also be what kind of angles? Adjacent. They're adjacent. And ray BA is perpendicular to ray BD. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. It's perpendicular. That means it forms a right angle. Now, they do not have to be adjacent angles. Complementary angles do not have to be adjacent. They can be separate. Here we have angle LMN, which is 36 degrees, and we have angle XYZ, which is 54 degrees. When we add those two together, the measure of angle LMN plus the measure of angle XYZ equals 90. These two angles are complementary. Add them together, they equal 90 degrees. Okay? Complementary angles can be adjacent. They don't have to be. They can be separate. Supplementary angles, same thing. Here we have two angles. We have angle ABC and angle CBD. Now notice that... The outside sides, the uncommon sides, are ray BA and ray BD. Guess what? Ray BA and ray BD are opposite rays. Well, what do we know about opposite rays? Opposite rays form a straight line. Opposite rays form a straight line. What's the measure of the angle of a straight line? 180 degrees. Therefore, anytime you see a straight line that's divided into two adjacent angles, you know that it's supplementary. We have an angle of 162 degrees. We have an angle of 18 degrees. Measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD equals 180 degrees. It's also called a linear pair. Linear pair has to be adjacent and supplementary. We'll go over that in just a few minutes. Now here's another set. I have angle RST. It's 31 degrees. Why don't I leave that off? I don't know. 31 degrees. We have another angle, JKL, which is 149 degrees. When we add those two together, we have the measure of angle RST plus the measure of angle JKL equals 180 degrees. Now these two angles are not adjacent. Okay? 
regardless of how they're drawn, or how they look like they're drawn, when I add their measures together, they equal 180 degrees. So therefore, they are supplementary. Supplementary and complementary angles do not have to be adjacent angles. They can be separate angles. Okay? Important things to know. These are the rules that are going to govern the algebra that you do with angle relationships.